the show is oh, the show is to let us know that uh, we're being recorded here, which is cool. I got it. <laughs> and uh, as you do this, I want you to relax and just enjoy this moment in time. Um, and don't uh, really think too much. Just go with the flow. And uh, let's start right away with three heart opening breaths. So palms in front of the abdomen. And inhale, give it a nice big stretch. And exhale. Let's do two more of those. It feels so good. Again, inhale and stretch. And exhale. Okay, one more time. Inhale and stretch. And exhale. Good. Now, with your feet about hip width apart, just throw your arms around from side to side and look straight ahead. When you get to a side, push down into a hip. You kind of bend your knees a little bit and that'll kind of squish a hip, which kind of opens up the tissue in those areas and starts warming up the body and improving the overall circulatory system. Let you flow a little better. Relax the body. It's just a nice gentle way to open up the body. Mm. So I choose to be happy. <laughs> That's my choice. I love being here. I enjoy being here. I'd rather be here than anywhere else in the world. That's exactly why I love being here. Because <laughs> I have a good time while I'm here. I hope you enjoy me, join me and have a good time too. I want you to relax and just enjoy the moment. Don't overdo the exercises, make it work for you. And don't, you have, don't have to worry about saying, Remembering anything, I say the same things over and over in every single class. This way you can kind of gauge your progress as you move along. And okay, now bring your arms up to shoulder height, the same way, same up and down motion, looking straight ahead. So you twist equally on the spine and just reaching out and just stretching, just reaching out. Yeah, we'll do this a few more times. <laughs> that feels so good. <laughs> oh boy, that is a good stretch. It really opens up the body and just kind of gets things a little bit more limber. Okay, now widen your step a little bit. Just lift your hands up to one side and then go to the other side and stretch. Again, lift up high and stretch. And go to the other side and stretch. Oh, let's do one more time. Stretch and stretch. <laughs> now come down and just bounce the knees and just vibrate the body. Bring a little vibration into the body. So, <laughs> The Grandmaster, Grandmaster Ilchi Lee that taught me this form. <laughs> He's the originator. He created this form. It's a great form. And uh, it all started his uh, training of uh, millions of people started with something called brainwave vibration. So this helps vibrate your brain waves. <laughs> and this vibrates the whole body. Now start shaking the palms. And this is actually the basis of healing that he uses in his healing therapy. Now give a little wiggle of the hips, wiggle the hips, wiggle the hips. It's just good to move the body. The body's designed to heal, repair, restore itself back to its state of perfect health. It's always doing that, but you have to move it. <laughs> now shimmy the shoulders, shimmy the shoulders, shimmy the shoulders, shimmy the shoulders, and bobble ahead, bobble ahead, bobble ahead. Just kind of get it all shook up. <laughs> Just let your go, self go. Let yourself kind of feel kind of silly with the body. You don't have to be perfect or anything like that because you're already perfect. <laughs> you can't do anything wrong here. Okay, now stop and feel the tingling in your fingers. Wow, that feels so good. That one felt really good this time. Sometimes they feel better than the others. That must mean I'm not thinking too much. How about you? Not thinking too much? Good. Okay, we're gonna start uh, with a little uh, neck rotation. Bring the head down. Now this, this rotates more than the neck, it rotates the whole body. We're gonna go down to the right. I'll go to my left so I'm on the same side as you. But go to your right as you inhale, bring the chin up high, stretching the whole front of the neck, stretching all the way down, you feel it in your back, and exhale slowly coming down. Now soften the knees as you come down. Again, inhale, just lift up and stretch the whole body up. And then exhale, kind of relax and just release into the downswing. Again, through the nose, that's inhale, lift the whole body up with your chin. 
and then exhale slowly, slowly come down. And when you get to the bottom, we're going to reverse. So through the nose, let's inhale the other way. And exhale, come on down. Again, through the nose, let's inhale, bring the chin up, stretching through the whole body. And then exhale, slowly coming down. So this is more than just a head, simple head rotation. Inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. It's good for the whole body, okay? Then lift the head up and just relax. And now just take a moment, kick the legs out, shake the arms, shim the shoulders, bobble the head a little bit, just kind of get everything back. Now let's, let's uh, bring your feet together as close as you can. We're gonna do a little waist rotation. And uh, it's actually a stretch for the back of the legs. So if you need to widen your step, you can do that, but ideally you bring them close. So we'll inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. We'll lock the knees and we'll keep the head kind of up to uh, keep the back straight. You don't go, not really up a lot, just kind of, just enough to keep your back straight. So inhale up and exhale down, move it around and inhale up slowly. And exhale down, nice long exhale. Moving it around, feel that stretch through the back of the legs and then nice long inhale on the way up. One more time around, as you exhale, we're coming down. Moving it through the stretch of the back of the legs. As you're inhaling up, you feel it in your hip. Hold it here, we're gonna reverse. Now exhale down the other way, the head up to keep your back straight. Moving it around and inhale up and exhale down. Now, when you keep your head up, don't pull it up so much that you're hurting your neck. Again, moving it around, inhale up. Let's go one more time around as we're exhaling on the downswing. Moving it around and inhale up. Hold it here and exhale. <laughs> Take, keep the legs out a little bit. All right, we're gonna get right to it now. We're gonna do some balance of plate exercises, a little bit more of them this time. And when you balance the plate, what you're doing is uh, you're rotating uh, the joints correctly. So basically what you're doing is holding the palm face up at all times. Uh, so um, you're gonna rotate your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, actually your hip, your knee, and your ankle as you're moving the body around. Because when you go one way, your hip goes the other way. Or if your hip goes one way, the arm goes the other way. But we're always keeping it face up and we're making circles, okay? So imagine there's a pole from the top of your head all the way down between your legs into the ground. And you're just kind of gyrating around that pole as we do these motions. So. Let's start with our right foot. Let's, so let's step forward your right foot and put both palms out. Take your left hand and put it on your waist or put it behind your back face up. Make it work for you, right? whatever you're comfortable doing. And we're gonna make two circles, one underneath the arm and one over the head. So the first one is inhale, pull it in towards the chest. Straighten the knee, bend the wrist, point to the side. You hold, stretch all the way down through the side and then exhale, bend the knee as you push to the side with the head up, stretch your back too. Now we're gonna gyrate the hip. So inhale, gyrate the hip. The arm goes the opposite way. So all the way around and then exhale, completes the circle as you return. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna do five of these. So inhale, pull the palm in towards the chest, straighten the knee. Circle the palm and then exhale, bend the knee and push to the side. Stretch, lift the head up. Now inhale, let's gyrate the hip. As you're coming around, you're straightening the knees. And as you're exhaling, you're coming back down into your posture here. Okay, let's try that again. That's number two. Inhale, pull the palm in towards the chest, straighten the knees. And then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Can you feel it in the back? Then inhale, gyrate the hip, come all the way around and exhale, come on back to the center. Okay, did you notice how your arm is kind of going the opposite way? Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't go all the way over your head, you can kind of just kind of go in the front, make it, kind of, make it work for you. Don't stress about this. 
Let's try it again. So it's inhale, stretch underneath the arm, and then exhale, push and stretch, head up. Then inhale, gyrate the hip. And exhale, come on back to the center. I think we need to do two more times. So it's inhale. And exhale, stretch. Inhale all the way around, gyrating the hip. And the exhale completes the circle. Do one more time. Inhale. And exhale, stretch, bend the knee. Then inhale, really stretch, lift up. And then exhale, bend the knees to return. Now let's step back as we're inhaling and exhaling. Take a moment to loosen up, shaking up the arms, kick the legs out, just get the body back to normal. Just jiggle it around. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best part of the class, just jiggling things up. Now let's go to the other side. So step forward with your left foot, put both palms are out. This time we'll take the right palm, put it behind us, or you can put it on your hip if you're more comfortable. Okay, two circles, one underneath the arm, one over the head. And the, and the knees are bent, okay? So when you inhale, we straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, bend the wrist, circle the palm underneath, stretching through the side, and then exhale, we bend the knees as we push to the side with the head up. Now, you gyrate the hip as you inhale, the arm goes the opposite way, and straightening the knee on the top, and then exhale, bend the knee as we sink back into our posture, returning the circle, completing the circle. Let's try that again. So it's inhale, straighten the knee, and then exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Let's try that again. So it's inhale, straighten the knee, exhale, bend the knee. Gyrate the hip as you inhale, straighten the knee, and then exhale, bend the knee as you complete the gyration. Again, so it's inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. This is really good for preventing calcification of the joints. One more time. Inhale, and exhale, stretch. Inhale over the head, and exhale, returns. Okay, let's step back and just shake the arms out, shin the shoulders, and bobble ahead. So this was, this is uh, also, we do this in the fourth form, uh, the right and the left side. And, uh, but again, when we're doing the fourth form, we add two more circles we, in the beginning of it. So there's four circles, four breaths. Now let's do the fifth, uh, the, the uh, <laughs> both hands together, which is like the fifth form we do in, in the form, uh, but only, only two breaths, two circles. So we come into a deep uh, horse riding stance, knees are bent, palms are out. Okay, so it's two circles, two breaths. First one, inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, bend the wrist, point to the side, and exhale, push to the side as you bend the knees. Then inhale, crisscross over the head as you straighten the knees, stretch through the belly, and then exhale, bend the knees as you sink back down into your deep horse riding stance. Okay, that's one time. We're gonna do five of these. So inhale, come underneath the arm, stretch, and then exhale, Bend the knees and stretch. Then inhale, stretch over the head, straighten the knees, and then exhale, bend the knees as you return. Okay, that's two. Inhale underneath the arm, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Inhale, crisscross over the head, and then exhale, you're all doing marvelous. You can't do any better than you are now. This is perfect, okay? Just make it work for you. Okay, and just enjoy the movement. Again, inhale, don't overdo it, stretch, and then exhale, push to the side. Inhale, crisscross over the head, and exhale, bend the knees to return. Let's do two more times. So it's inhale, underneath the arm, and then exhale, push to the side and stretch. Inhale, stretch over the head, and exhale, bend the knees to return. Let's do one more time. So it's inhale, come underneath the arms, and then exhale, push to the side. Now we go over the head, we inhale over the head, and exhale, bend the knees to return. Okay, step in. Now, that's pretty much the same format that we do when we're making circles with the, the fourth and fifth form. 
except uh, again, like I said later on, we had uh, four circles, four breaths. It's a little bit more of a circle motion. It's good for the joints. It's a great way to warm up. I'm already trying to catch my breath because I'm inhaling and exhaling and I'm moving all around and my heart rate's up. How about you? Is your heart rate up a little bit? Just a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, now. I want to do just some little bit more stretching. I want to do, go into a forward bend here, just to stretch out the back of the legs. So I want you to put your palms in front of the abdomen and inhale, reach out to the side, hold it here and exhale under a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you inhale, lift up. And now when you exhale, roll the palms so they're facing outward and reach out. Now with your head up, lock the knees and drop the arms down and just hang. So, your head is up, so it's not stressing your neck, just enough to keep your back straight. So you might have to kind of just elongate the spine to help you a little bit. Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale. Now exhale, just relax a little bit more in that stretch for the back of the legs. Try not to curve your back. Again, inhale and exhale a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the legs. One more time, inhale through the nose and exhale, just relax a little bit more. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up. And as we exhale, just take a moment to kick the legs out, both legs, shake the arms, shimmy the shoulders, wiggle the hips, bobble the head <laughs> and loosen up. All right, now let's stretch the, let's just stretch the right leg for a moment. So step forward with your right foot, put your hands in your hips. We'll inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Okay, so inhale up. Now exhale, lock that front knee and head is up to protect the back. And the back knee is bent. So it gives you a little, uh, uh, it helps improve your balance when you're holding this posture. Now let your leg get used to this, because here we go. Through the nose, let's inhale and exhale. Just come down a little bit more deeply in that stretch for the back of the leg. Again, through the nose, let's inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhale. Just let yourself stretch out just a little bit more. Now, when you inhale, slowly, slowly come on up. And when you exhale, just relax and just kick the, kick the legs out, shake the arm, shift the shoulder, bobble the head, wiggle the waist. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side, same way. Okay. Hands on the hips, bring your shoulders back and lower the chest. And just hold it there. You just come down to where you don't come down any further. So it's a nice, feels just kind of nice on the back of the leg. Now we're going to embellish the spread, stretch with the breath because the leg knows it's okay to come down. So here we go. Inhale and exhale. Come down a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the leg. Again, through the nose, let's inhale and exhale. A little bit more into that stretch. One more time. Through the nose, let's inhale and exhale just a little bit more. <laughs> then inhale, slowly come on up. And as we exhale, bring the foot back, kick the legs out, shake the arms, shim the shoulders, and bob the head. They're yeah, doing okay so far, right? Let's try the form. And it takes uh, usually about four minutes to do the form from beginning to end when we do it one time each movement. And uh, let's just try it for just doing it one time each movement and see how we do with this, okay? So standing with your feet together, close, close, as close, as close together as you're comfortable, okay? And your, your shoulders are back and down, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, let's reach out to the side, hold it here and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you inhale, lift the palms up, bring them to prayer posture as you exhale, lower the fingertips till they come just below the chin. Now, as we inhale, lift the elbows to shoulder height, lift your spine up a little bit, and then exhale, Soften the knees as you let the palms float down. Okay, that was the first form. The second form, we're gonna step off to the right. I'll go to my left, so I'm on the same side as you, but you go to your right. So inhale, step off to the right, slowly. See how I'm standing on one leg? Focus on that standing leg and exhale, settle in. That's the trick, focus on the standing leg. Where your mind goes, that's where your energy is. Now we're gonna gyrate the hip. 
and the arm's gonna follow the hip. So the palm should be face down towards the inside of your thigh. Your arm is kind of stiff here. We're not really leaning over. We're just gonna kind of let the body, the upper body follow the rotation of the hip. So inhale, push out and around and exhale, return. So we're not really leaning over. Now that's all we do. So now we come back with the foot as we inhale, slowly bring it back and exhale. The slowness is what improves your balance. So you do it as slow as you possibly can, but whatever you're doing is perfect, okay? Let's go to the other side. As you inhale, step off to the left and exhale, settle in. Palm is towards the inside. We're a little bit crouched. So when you inhale, you push out and around. We kind of come up a little bit and then exhale. We come back down to complete the circle. Okay, and then bring this foot back as we're inhaling and exhaling, just relax. That was the second form, the right and the left side. Now we'll do the third form, the right and the left side. And it begins on the right side where we bring a big ball over to the right. And the right, reason I say we carry the ball to the right is because your palms go into position, but it's like holding a ball. And when you, when you sway the ball from side to side, your palms really don't move. They stay the same distance apart effectively. So inhale, let's bring the ball over to your right. All your weight's on the right leg and exhale, settle in. Well, 70 to 90% is on your right, right, right leg. Okay, and you sink into your hip here for balance. Now inhale, we carry the ball over to the left. We kind of straighten that right front leg and then straighten the back and then exhale, sink back down as we return the ball back over to the other side. Okay, all right, now we're gonna lower the ball. So inhale, lower the ball and stand equally weighted on both feet and then exhale, relax. Now we're going to carry the ball to the other side. Now, if you don't bring your other leg around behind, it's just a little like a crutch for balance. You can just kind of keep it there and just kind of put your weight on the left, left side. Okay. So carry the ball to the left. We inhale, bring the ball over to the left. And exhale, settle in to your left hip and push down. Now we're going to bring it to the right and then bring it to the left with the breath. So inhale, bring it over to the right, straighten the leg. Stretch through the belly and then exhale, sink back down into your hip. Let's lower the ball. So inhale, lower the ball and exhale. So that was the third form, the right and the left side. Fourth form is balance of plate, just like we did in our warm up. But instead of two circles, two breaths, it's four circles, four breaths. So you're going to shift your weight onto your left, left, left leg. So you can catch your balance and inhale, step off. And exhale, settle in with the palm face up. Now, first circle. Inhale, bring it around behind you. Circle all the way around with your arm. Your leg should be stiff. When you exhale, complete the circle behind you. You kind of bend the knee and lift the head up. You're always kind of looking back though as you do this. Now, when you inhale, we straighten the knee, float in the palm underneath the armpit, bend the wrist, circle the fingers to the front. And exhale, push straight out to the front as you bend the knee, sinking into the posture. Then the, that was the second circle, second breath. Third one is underneath the arm again. So inhale, straighten the knee, come back underneath the arm, bend the wrist, point the fingers to the side. We're stretching through the side. And then exhale, push to the side and stretch with the head up. Now we go over the head for the fourth one. Inhale, circle over the head. Nice and slow we go. You don't have to go all the way over, make it work for you. And then exhale, bend the knee as you return back into your posture. Okay, that was the fourth form right side. So let's bring this foot back, get ready to do the left, inhale. And exhale as you go slow, as slow as you can, that was good. Let's go to the other side. So it's inhale, slowly come up and exhale, going as slow as you possibly can. And the secret is to put your energy into the weight bearing leg. Okay, four circles, four breaths. First one, we bring it around behind us and make a circle. So we're kind of crouched here right now. So when we inhale, we straighten up, circle the arm, and then exhale, make the circle and bend the knee and lift the head up to push behind us. Now, as you inhale, straighten the knee, as you come underneath the arm, bend the wrist, point to the front, 
Now, as we exhale, push straight out to the front and kind of crouch. Now we return as you inhale, straighten the knee, come back underneath the arm. This is number three circle. And then exhale, bend the knee as you push to the side. Now the fourth one, we gyrate the hip and throw the arm over the head. So inhale, we gyrate the hip and the arm goes the opposite way to keep your balance and the exhale returns. Let's bring this right foot back, focuses on the left, uh, bring the left foot back, focuses on the right leg as we inhale and exhale, settle in. Now let's do the fifth form. We, we step, ha take half steps into position, starting with the right foot. So as you take your half step, obviously weights on the right hip, on the left hip. So inhale, bring the right foot out and exhale, settle in, lean over to the right, then take a half step further out to the left. So it's inhale and exhale, and then bend the knees into a deep horse riding stance. The shoulders are over the hips, so you're not leaning over. We do four circles, four breaths. So as you inhale, I want you to straighten the knees, open the chest, circle all the way around with the arms. As you complete the circle, you exhale, you bend the knees and push behind you with the head up to stretch the back. That's number one. Number two, inhale underneath the arms, straighten the knees, bend the wrist, point to the front. And then as you exhale, bend the knees as you extend the arms straight out to the front, keeping the shoulders over the hips. Now, as you inhale, we straighten the knees, come back underneath the arms, point to the side, and then exhale, push to the side. This is so good for strengthening your balance and balance, strengthening and balance. Now, fifth one, fourth, uh, fourth four breath is over the head. So inhale, we straighten the knees and crisscross over the head. And the exhale, we bend the knees to return. Okay, now we bring our feet back, start with the right half a step. So inhale, shift your weight onto your left hip and exhale, settle in. Shift your weight onto your right hip, inhale, bring the left foot in and exhale, settle in. Now the sixth form is your homework assignment, should you choose to accept the assignment, is to do this a hundred times every day. And then simply push the belly out and tuck the belly in. We'll just do it a little bit more formally in the class. So inhale, push the belly out, thumbs in the belly button. When you exhale, tuck the belly in. The palms will just be here for focus. Inhale, abdomen extends, and exhale, abdomen contracts. So this helps with our meditation in this form here. Okay, that was the sixth form, the homework assignment called creating a brighter world. Seventh form is called dragon looks up to the sky. As you inhale, we bend the knees and the palms float up thigh high. Pinch the first three fingers. As you exhale, keeping the shoulders over the hips and the knees bent, you put the knuckles to your kidneys, your lower back. Now, as you inhale, let's straighten the knees and drag the knuckles up our rib cage into the armpits and stretch. Now, when you exhale, fold the elbows over the fingers and relax. Now, here it is. Here's where the dragon looks up to the sky. The next breath, inhale, we open the chest, lift the chin up, and then exhale, let the palms float down. Eighth and final form is called raising the power. What we're doing is gathering earth's energy and tucking it into our lower abdomen, which is technically our second chakra or energy center. So when we inhale, we bend the knees and then the palms float up to shoulder height, pulling up earth's energy, bringing it into our body as we exhale, let's tuck it into our second chakra, two inches below the belly button, two inches deep. Okay, then to conclude, we inhale, straighten the knees, palms to prayer posture. As we exhale, we're gonna to bow to stretch the back of our legs with our head up to protect the back. And then we hold for one more breath. Inhale and exhale, relaxing a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the legs. Now, when we inhale, we're slowly coming on up. When we exhale, lower the palms, let the palms float down, feel some energy on your palms as you just kind of smooth out the energy in your body and look down to the ground and just bring your mind's awareness into your body. Just feel it, just be present with yourself. You're wonderful, perfect self. Feel it. Don't think about it, just feel it. Just be present with yourself and enjoy who you are being right now. 
Okay, so let's sit down for a minute and take a sip of water. <laughs> if you got it, drink water. You should always bring water to the class. I should remind you about that a lot because water is really good. It helps uh, lubricate the, the uh, thought process. You, 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 everything is electric in your body. Okay, let's sit up straight. With the shoulders over the hips, knees over the ankles, put the back of the palms behind the knees. And uh, lower your eyes to the earth or close your eyes and just listen to my voice and just bring your mind's awareness to your breathing. You just want to be completely aware of everything that's happening around you. So when you're inhaling, you're aware of the body expanding. As you're exhaling, you can feel the body completely and deeply relaxing. You're just letting go. Feel you know, your body might be catching its breath a little bit from the exercise we just did. That's simply the body calling for, mu or the muscles calling, and the tissue calling for more oxygen. And as you're exhaling, you're just completely relaxing, letting go. And then you might begin to feel a tingling throughout your body. And that tingling sensation is the result of every cell getting washed and rinsed, restores, restoring you to your state of perfect health. It's here in this moment that you're <laughs> constantly getting restored back to your state of perfect health. And this is what the body does best. It keeps you perfect in every way. So when your body's perfect, your mind can relax and just enjoy this moment. You're supposed to enjoy the moment. So who, who are you? <laughs> you are that spirit that your body and your mind serves. You're much more than your mind. <laughs> you know, your mind has a purpose and it's just simply a tool that you use for that spirit within you. So both your body and your mind are here to serve that wonderful you, that who you are. And when you just relax, you just connect with this moment. You allow yourself to deeply relax and just let go and just be at one with yourself. This is where you're perfect in every way. This is where you are in your element of happiness. Because you can choose to be happy. So why not choose the very best for yourself? You deserve it in every way. And nothing less. Because when you're happy, when you're working really good, you have a dramatic impact on everyone around you. They say you want to heal the world, <laughs> heal yourself. And this is a great way to do it. And I invite you to open your eyes. Now let's clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. When we inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest. I see some nice smiles there. Roll the palms forward as you exhale, stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, let's look up to stretch. One more breath, inhale, just stretch it out. And then exhale, slowly lower the palms down. <laughs> Good job. Now, let's take the right hand and put it on the left knee. As you inhale, reach around behind and exhale into a stretch. Again, inhale, stretch a little bit more deeply, and then exhale, come on back around to the other side. So it's inhale and exhale into position. Then inhale, twist a little more deeply, and exhale, come on back to our front, our starting point. Now I'm going to take you into the form uh, from here uh, while we're sitting. We're going to do it one time each movement from a seated position. If you choose to stand up and do it, you may do that as well. Um, for those of you that know the form, you can. It's going to be a little bit better standing up because it's a little more strengthening on your legs. This is uh, for those of you that are getting tired and need to sit. And you can still move the body while you sit and do the form. And it just takes less than four minutes to do the form from beginning to end. 
So let's try it. So palms in front of the abdomen, relax the shoulders, and inhale, reach out to the side, hold it here, and exhale. Then roll the palms up and inhale, palms together, and then exhale till the fingertips come just below the chin. Now as we inhale, lift the elbows to shoulder height, and then exhale, let the palms float down. Second form, we step off to the right. So inhale, bring the right foot up and out, and then exhale, settle in with the palm to the inside of your thigh. Then inhale, push out and around, and then exhale, completes the circle. Then inhale, bring the foot back, and exhale. Now the other side, inhale, and exhale, palm to the inside. Inhale, push out and around, feel that thigh get massaged, and exhale, Return, so inhale, bring the foot back, and exhale. That's the second form. Carry the ball to the right as you inhale for the third form, and exhale into position. Then inhale, carry the ball to the left, and then on the exhale, bring it right back over to the right side. Then inhale, lower the ball, and exhale. Next breath. Inhale, carry the ball to the left, and exhale into position. Then inhale, bring it over to the right. And exhale, bring it back to where we started. Then inhale, lower the ball. And exhale. That was the third. Fourth form, step off to the right as we inhale. And exhale, palm is face up to the inside of your body. Then inhale, bring it out and around. Circle all the way around with your arm. And exhale, push behind you. Inhale underneath the arm and then exhale, push to the front. Inhale back underneath the arm and then exhale, push to the side. Inhale over the head. Oh, that's a good stretch. And then exhale, come on back. Bring the foot back as we inhale and exhale. Now the left foot, inhale and exhale. Come to the inside, then inhale, bring the palm behind you, a circle the arm and exhale, stretch and reach. Inhale underneath the arm and then exhale, push to the front. Inhale back underneath the arm and then exhale to the side. Inhale over the head and the exhale completes the circle. Bring the foot back as we inhale and exhale. Fifth form, both legs, uh, feet stay, both hands together. Inhale, open the chest, circle the arms and then exhale, push behind you. That's breath one, inhale underneath the arm and then exhale to the front, complete spread two. Inhale underneath the arms again and then exhale to the side is breath three. Inhale, crisscross over the head and exhale, that feels so good. Completes breath four. Homework assignment, creating a brighter world. As you inhale, push the belly out, thumbs in the belly, but as you exhale, tuck the belly in. Inhale, abdomen extends, and exhale, abdomen contracts. Seventh form, drag looks up to the sky. As you inhale, palms float up. Pinch the first three. As you exhale, put the knuckles to your kidneys, your lower back. Now, as you inhale, drag the knuckles all the way into the armpits and stretch. Exhale, relax the shoulders over the fingers. Then inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chin up, and then exhale, let the palms float down. Eighth and final form is raising the power. So inhale, gather earth's energy, draw it into your body, and exhale, tuck it into your lower abdomen, two inches below the belly button, and two inches deep. Then to conclude, we inhale, palms to prayer. Uh, oh, uh, then the eighth and final form, excuse me. Inhale, the palms. Yeah, eighth and final form. Inhale, palms together, and then exhale, lower the body, and just stretch the back, and then inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the legs. Then inhale, slowly come up. And as we exhale, let the palms float down. And just take a moment to bring the mind into the body and rest. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna do it standing up. Good opportunity to take a sip of water on your, on your way to getting into position. You're, uh, you can stay seated if you need to. So you, you should know how to do the form seated position. Okay, this time, I'm, we're going to do the form from beginning to end. I'm not going to talk so much. I'm just going to focus on, uh, on the breath. All right. 
So the picture will be worth a thousand words. And uh, just allow yourself to relax into it. Just know that every time we initiate a movement, we're on the inhale. When we're concluding it, we're exhaling. Let's begin with the palms in front of the abdomen, shoulders back and down. These are soft, not locked. Here we go. Inhale, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you inhale, palms together, and then exhale, relax till fingertips come below the chin. Inhale, exhale. Second form, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale. Other side. Inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale. Third form, carry the ball to the right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Lower the ball, inhale, exhale, carry the ball to the left, inhale, exhale, inhale to the right, exhale to the left, lower the ball, inhale, exhale, fourth form, balance the plate to the right, inhale, exhale, inhaling, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, other side, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, half step, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, Exhaling, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Homework assignment, inhale. Exhale, inhaling, exhale. Do this a hundred times a day. Seventh form, inhale, exhale, inhaling, exhale, inhaling, exhaling. Eighth form, inhale. Exhale, to conclude, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhaling, inhaling, exhale. Okay. Let's try the form in silence, which uh, if you don't remember the form, just wing your way through it. Of course, I'll be your model. I'll be teaching you in silence. But the less conversation from me is probably another way of learning this form for you. And those of you that have been with me for we're going on two years now, um, you'll be able to uh, <laughs> just kind of practice uh, and see what you know.
see, see how well you do. All right, so palms together and uh, feet together. Let's begin. Inhale. Notice how my eyes will always follow my hand. Inhale. Just connect with yourself for a moment. Okay, so how was that for you? Don't answer the question yet. And <laughs> we'll talk to you and talk about that later. Um, I want to take you right into a body padding routine just to tap down the whole body all the way down to our toes. And body tapping is a great way to stimulate the connective tissue that runs through our body. I try to do this in every class. Sometimes I skip it and I'll assign it to you for homework after class. But we have uh, a little more time so we can do that. So I want to start with the top of our head. So take the tips of your fingers and start tapping the top of the head all around the top of the head. Now come to the crown, the crown. Okay. Now come down behind the neck, uh, head where the neck touches the head bone, connects the head bone. Then come behind the ears, and then come on top of the ears, on top of the ears. Now you may want to uh, remove your glasses if you're wearing glasses, because we're gonna go all around the eyes and the face. And now your temples, the temples, the temples. Okay, let's do the forehead, all around the forehead, the forehead, the forehead. 
Do your eyebrows, eyebrows with the tips of the fingers. And tap hard enough to make a difference. So in other words, you're stimulating this area. And do the outside corners of the eyes. Okay, come on down, do the eye sockets, the eye sockets, the eye sockets. Go down to the lower upper lip, upper lip of the gum line, staying on the upper level, go up to the back teeth. And then come back down to the front. Let's jump down to the lower level. Go up to the back teeth. And then come back down to the front again. Okay, now let's do scrunchy face and open face. Make a tight fist as tight as you can, scrunch it up. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna do just the opposite called open face. And you can make a sound and stick your tongue out to stretch your face better. One, two, three. Ah. Okay, two more times. Give it a good squeeze. Scrunch it up really, really tight. Okay, one, two, three. Ah. Okay, one more time. Give it a good squeeze. Scrunch it up tight. Okay, one, two, three. Ah. Okay, close your eyes and just feel the tingling in your face for a minute. Okay, let's continue. Put your right arm out, thumb up, drop the head down, take the left hand and tap up high where the shoulder connects to the neck. Just go to the lungs. And you want to tap hard enough to where you're making a difference. Send some shock waves down into the bone tissue. Shoulder, shoulder, bicep, bicep, or uh, forearm. Start coming down the forearm to the wrist. Top of the thumb, top of the thumb, front of the fist. Lower uh, wrist, uh, picky, lower wrist, and then start coming up the forearm to the elbow, elbow, tricep, tricep, armpit, armpit. Come to the upper part of that chest, chest. Now let's go to the other side. Thumb up, drop the head down, tap up high, the shoulder connects to the neck, on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm. To the wrist, top of the thumb, top of the fist, pinky the karate chop, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm. To the tricep, 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 armpit, armpit, okay, upper part of the chest, 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 chest. Follow me, when I go ha, you go ha. I go ha ha, you go ha ha. And really belt it out. It's a great way to leave, uh, get rid of any stagnant energy in your body. I'll go first. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Hee! Hee ha! Hee ha ha! Ha 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 Abdomen, abdomen, abdomen. Now lean forward. This is really good for your uh, connective tissue and send shock waves deep into the organs. You're doing your kidneys area, uh, lower back. Now do the tailbone. There's a lot of stem cells in the tailbone. Let's release some into our bloodstream doing this. Come on down to the uh, buttocks, buttocks, buttocks. Come on down the back of the legs. Come up the insides. Come on down the outside. Come on the front of the legs. Hang on to the knees for a minute, all around the knees. Come up your thighs. Abdomen, 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 abdomen. Now put your hands on your shoulders and sweep down all the way to the toes, saying it feels so good. Sending good positive energy, smoothing out your energy. Ready? It feels so good. Let's do that again. It feels so good. Okay, the third time, let's say in Korean, I shawanada. Ready? I shawanada. <laughs> All right, come join me for chat. Let me see how you're doing and how you're feeling. I know I feel great. This is just a real happy time for me to uh, be here with you. Um, Andrew, what's up, my friend? How, how are we doing here? Doing great. Just enjoying the class. Another great one. How about you? Oh, I'm having a ball. <laughs> I love being here. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> glad to hear that. And yeah. we love being here with you, too. So thank you again, Mitch, for such a wonderful session. 
And, you know, we really appreciate you helping all of us, no matter where we are in our fitness journey. And even just being able to breathe and do simple things with our body is so good for it. So again, thank you so much. Now, we will be taking questions, but just a few reminders and housekeeping that I want to get out of the way. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the class, they are recorded. And like I'm screen sharing right now, this is the link where you'll be able to see the recorded classes, youtube.com slash AARP Nevada. Uh, they're usually uploaded about a day or two after the class finishes. Um, we also have our schedule for Mitch's other classes, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. They're all at 2 p.m. PT, except for Wednesdays, which is at 4 p.m. PT. And, oh yes, last thing, you must register for each class, even if you've registered for them all in the past, you need to do it every week for each class that you want to attend. So with that out of the way, I am going to allow people to unmute themselves and ask Mitch any questions. So feel free to raise your virtual hand if you have any questions for Mitch. And again, thank thanks for, yep, yeah, thanks for a wonderful class. Thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah. So. Okay, next? if I could figure out how to, I don't know yeah. how to. You're, you're doing good, Beth. I got okay. you. Okay. I had a question. I have lymphedema. As you can see, I wear <laughs> compression wraps, which I should be wearing right now all the way up to my thigh, uh -huh. which I got from taking statins. Uh 